guys. I uh, was going to say what time it was. It's, it's just after 10, and I realized that my watch is off. Uh, it's, it's correct, got the minutes right, but uh, it is off by a few hours. So something got messed up when I was resetting my watch earlier. Um, anyways, I'm here in the hotel. I've mostly unpacked. Everything's all laid out where I want it to be. Going to be here for 25 days, so I figure may as well get comfy and uh, be organized, you know, put everything in its proper place so that I know where it is. I can get it at five in the morning if I need to grab something um, as I'm running out the door to go catch the shuttle. Uh, speaking of the shuttle, I'm about to go take the shuttle over to Target, grab some last minute things that I didn't want to take on the plane with me, uh, a cooking dish, something for my hot logic so I can put food in it, something I can wash and reuse. Uh, I do have these little these cheap little things, but I'm not sure how they'll hold up against heat. But they're good for, for keeping stuff cool uh, if I have leftovers that I want to put in the fridge. Uh, I did pass the first test, which is a COVID test. So I passed my COVID test, came out negative, good to go. Uh, other than that, I'm just going to go run over to Target. So uh, I may or may not film in Target. I don't know. I feel weird about filming in like public places like that. I'll get there eventually. All right, so check this out. This shows the path that my flight took to Portland. So every time it contacts an ABSB receiver, it puts out a little location beacon, strings all those together the color of the line changes by altitude. So you can see down to the second where I was. I was just watching a video by a YouTuber that I like to watch called Post 10, and I had a childhood memory unlock, which was, uh, you know, things that you did before we had cell phones and the internet, because uh, I grew up in that era, and I remember after the rain, there would be a bunch of water on the ground, and there would be a bunch of pools, like little, little puddles, and so I would go out into the front driveway, and I would use my foot or a stick to scrape a canal from those puddles and drain the water from the driveway. And I like I would spend hours doing that. Like it was endless fun for me to watch the water slowly drain out. And like it's such a simple pleasure. It feels so simple to look back on, but like it was the height of entertainment in the 90s. <laughs> All right, I'm getting ready for dinner here. I cooked the noodles for like 10 minutes in the hot logic got it good and warm and uh, it's still a little toasty but to finish it off i'm gonna go ahead and pop it in the microwave because i just threw some cold chicken a uh, little deli meat chicken that i just like shred up with my hands and toss in there and just kind of adds a little bit to the ramen noodles this is a uh, spicy picante i don't want to spill everything here spicy picante noodles it's uh, one of my favorites, and it's nice and easy. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this vlog off. It's already getting pretty long. So uh, thanks for watching. If you like this content, subscribe. I'm going to be in training here for another month. So uh, hopefully I make it. There's already been one person who had to drop out because of COVID. So here's hoping I make it.